It's, I mean, it's amazing because this is obviously, I've got in my hands right now something that was used 48,000 years ago. Of course. And it was absolutely revolutionary. So here you can see a monkey bone. We can clearly see that the V shape. This V shape cut marks only can be produced by the stone tools. Yeah, so this here, that's where yeah. somebody is yeah. cutting. Yeah, because yeah, they are yeah. cutting or skinning also yeah. can be possible. Whatever is stuck with the bones, they try to yeah. remove. It's funny because I think butchery marks often need to look at it through a magnifying glass, yeah. but not always. Yeah. And actually this one is quite clear. Yeah. And this is not the kind of thing that you would see if an animal killed it. This is an indication yeah. that this, this was is killed definitely, by a human. This is definitely homo sapiens. And so the question is how they killed them. It is remarkable, Ella, because there are lots of trees, very tall. In second, they can climb up to the top, so therefore it is very difficult to catch them. The prehistoric people or our ancestors should need to develop their own technology to get them down. So I would like to show you some yeah. earliest, which goes back to 48,000 years old. They developed this bone point technology and they made bone tipped arrows. They identified the monkey bones are really special to make arrowheads because those are light in weight to hunt these fast moving animals. If you use a stone point, the arrow is heavier. So here you can see it is a little bit chipped because it's hit with contact with something. Right. So that is why at the end, so it's that just chip more, mark there. Yeah. Shows us that it was actually used. Yes. It's, I mean, it's amazing because this is obviously, I've got in my hands right now something that was used 48,000 years ago. Of course. And it was absolutely revolutionary. These bone points are only the tips of the full arrowheads. Many are chipped from actually hitting prey. And each one would have been attached to the end of a long wooden arrow. These hunters didn't invent a brand new technology. They adapted an old one. These are some of the earliest examples of bow and arrows found outside of Africa. enabling Homo sapiens to hunt with exceptional skill and efficiency within the forest. <laughs>